Hello, hello, and welcome to my craft room. I'm Donna, and I'm glad you chose to spend a little bit of your day with me. Uh, today is the beginning of my uh, Fall in Montana make-along with Mrs. Hootie Hootington. Okay, I've done Okay, here. I have it in black and white because my uh, printer isn't, the color isn't there. This is, it doesn't show it in full glory, but it is a gorgeous pattern. It's the Montana, and it's an $8 pattern on Ravelry. It comes with charts for three different things. You have your uh, Montana blanket, a wrap, and a pocket shawl. And uh, it, I plan on making... The wrap with Mrs. Hootie Hootington. We both liked the pattern and wanted a fall wrap. So that's what we're going to bake. This right here has uh, the charts that I'm working on in this one. And in this other one, I've got the charts I'm not working on. Like there's, um, there's three different parts. And there's four charts for each part. I've got part two and three in here because I'm not working on those yet. I've got, uh, I'll just set that right there. I've got uh, part one, which I am working on in here. Oh, I plan on using, oh, in the description, yeah, I'm, I'm all scared brain today. In the description box, I'm going to list. I'm going to have links to Mrs. Hootie Hootington. I'm going to have a link to the the Montana Wrap in Ravelry, so you can purchase purchase it if you wish. I'm going to have a link to Tina's, which is the author's Facebook group, because uh, there's a bunch of ladies not make just making them Montana, but they're making some of other Tina's patterns, and it's just eye candy. I, I am just floored and amazed by all the color combinations of all the different things. Um, I had originally planned on using Centaur by Man Lion Brand Mandala along with Red Heart Essential Stripes. I thought those would look cool together because you have to have two colors one for the, the, the background and then one for the pattern. Well, after seeing all the beautiful wraps on a tennis Facebook group, I was most attracted to the wraps that had the background in a, a color changing yarn and then the, the pattern pieces in black. So I've decided to do my wrap with this and with black. I couldn't wait so I wanted to see how the yarn played together so I decided that I was going to make a blanket. So let me go ahead and and show you the blanket. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I made a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry my nose is bothering me today. You have um, a certain amount of stitches at the beginning and then you have I'll say under 60 stitches a repeat on chart 2 and you're supposed to repeat that chart chart 2 or chart B rather it's 1B you're supposed to repeat that three times for the wrap and um, I got to looking at that thing, and the fringe scrapes the floor, so this is going to be a blanket, and I messed up, I didn't do chart B, I just kept doing chart A all the way across, um, so I'm going to have to fudge a little bit of the pattern for the blanket, but I'm go this will be the last time you see this, I do love it. And I'm going to continue making it. But this is going to be my Movies and Stitch. 
uh, project. Now see it is curling a little on the end but that's just the nature of the beast. And I wanted to show you this fringe. Cause, cause mosaic you, you left to right and then you cut the yarn and then you go back to the no this is right to left. Right to left. Cut the yarn, go right to left. So you're cutting your yarn every row and you're leaving a tail at the beginning too. Now I hear you. Nobody wants to weave in two ends on every row. Tina does have Tina. She has a solution for a wrap you can make fringe. And she has she has a tutorial beginning uh beginner's guide to mosaic crochet where she shows you how to do a twisted fringe. She also, in that beginner's guide, I believe it's in the beginner's guide, uh, she shows you how to do a double border. So you could cut these shorter and just cover it with a double border, which really isn't that hard to do. So that's, that's cool. Uh, I do encourage anyone who would like to begin mosaic crochet maybe uh, you might want to uh, try a, one of her more simple patterns because that chart was a bit confusing to start with I've got the hang of it now and I'm going to start with this and black the wrap later today and that blanket is just for then go ahead and show you what I worked on this week oh my nose it, the, it it's been raining off and on all day and it's just oh got my nose up tore up anyway I, I, I spent several days just in the car riding around with pawpaw so it's mostly car crochet which I made that and I made that. I've got another one in this colorway on the go. And right back here, I've got the one that's on the go and one more to make. And I'll have enough to send to uh, Charmed Grammy. Uh, I made some Loveys also on the go project. I made this one. It doesn't have a an animal for it yet but I plan on washing these I've got several of them well I had them in my lap here here it is fell down I've got this one it's a coral color but they're a little bit on the rough side so I need to wash those and then I forgot forgot to show this one I made last week at the Eeyore kids oh they're gonna be so and I, I I haven't made as many bags or pouches this week I only got this one done this reminds me of nightmare before Christmas and it's going to my youngest daughter she I give her a uh, a market bag that I'd made in purple and black and then orange and black so it will match that quite nicely also below I don't remember did I say I'd look link who to who down there well I will oh I'm just out of breath today it's it's humid and in the south we get a lot of humidity especially when it rains it's just almost unbearable during the summertime the only place that had worse humidity was guam i lived there for two years because daddy was in the military i keep looking over there because it seems like i worked on more than that but i've really been lazy this week i haven't felt that great so i've been uh spending a lot of time watching tv i've been watching downtown abbey i'd never seen it and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I hate just spacing out like that, but that's just how it is. I apologize. And um, 
yeah, I don't have, have anything else that I can think of. I'm real excited and I want to get working on the the Montana wrap in the blue. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you later. I don't know that I'll get a Movies in Stitch out this week. I tried watching one movie and it was a big old flop for me. And I quit watching it. I couldn't take it anymore. So I may just do my review on that. <laughs> and then do another movie and maybe I'll have something by Wednesday. You've already seen what I've been working on, but I'll work on that a little bit more with the end movie. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, stay safe. And continue to love one another. Bye-bye. Oh, one last thing. Don't message me on Instagram. I will delete it. And I will block you. My contact information, if you want to say something you can't say in the in the comments, you go ahead and email me. It's down there in the description. Love you. Bye.